Hi friends, so we are back again and it is your channel Early Learners and Right Trainers. So basically we are going to learn about the whole brain development via the right brain activities. So flash, uh, flashcards is one of the very famous activity that we do in right brain and uh, it can be uh, activity that can be started once you're pregnant and uh, yes once you're pregnant because the idea is that you should get habituated of doing flashcards so when your child is in the womb he understands everything by telepathy there is a concept called as telepathy uh, via which you can that your child can understand what you want and uh, he can also communicate what he wants via the same so that in spiritual world it has different terminology in scientific world it has different terminology but from the brain perspective we say that uh, it goes via telepathy concept of right brain so coming back to flashcards there are three types of flashcards one is picture second is dot and third is word three flashcards picture flashcards dot flashcards and word flashcards out of this three um in the market you will always find many picture cards dot cards but very few word cards the reason is word cards can be created at home and the vocabulary of english is so huge that even if thousands of uh, word flashcards are available it is less so picture flashcards are available quite easily and dot cards you have one two hundred available and uh, out of that um, one two hundred dot cards are quite easier to even print out on your own but um, i would like to discuss more about all these things in my later post so just an introduction like there are three types of flashcards so you should at least have 50 of all of these three to start that's it and uh, it's not important that you keep on adding every now and then you should build your library step by step the main thing is that every day or at least five days a week you should uh, have a habit of showing the flashcards so flashcards and the right brain are related because when you flash anything for less than one second one second uh, your brain automatically captures it like a photograph and your memory grasping skills increases so is it like you will keep on buying flashcards like forever no it's not like that because uh, you know in this world there are so many things and it's not possible to always show everything via flashcards the idea is to stimulate the brain so even if you have two sets of cards which are like 50 cards you can divide them in five five bunches and show it every day and for a week you can show five different cards you can also add five plus five plus five plus four like five so it becomes almost 25 cards a day or you can also show uh, 30 cards a day or you can also show 40 cards a day it depends entirely upon your child now how do you know that your child is interested uh, you should look at their eyes if they're excited they will look at the card if they are not excited they are not going to look at the card so when you feel that your child is not paying attention to the card you should try to show the card like this away from away from you if they are able to capture that picture then it's fine but if they are not interested to even look at that side then you should leave the flashcard session for for that day or for that hour and re reintroduce it in the evening or in the afternoon but if you see that for a couple of days your child is not showing any interest in those particular flashcards then you can buy new flashcards and show him the new flashcards and the, the ones he gets bored of those flashcards also you can again bring back the old flashcards there are many confusions on flashcards but just to start with i would personally tell you just buy one set of flashcards one set of flashcards could have 24 car cards in it or 
or at least 12 cards and then just show it to your child <laughs> so that he is habituated with the concept so he is like habituated with the concept of flashcards uh, dot cards like you have an entire maths program for it and um, for word cards also like five word cards even if you show a day it's absolutely fine but you know what the game is you can keep on adding lot many words you can keep on adding lot many picture cards see guys it's not important how many you show it's important that your child should be enjoying even if it is one it's okay we are stimulating the brain we are not after making them understand that okay this is transport okay this is nature okay this is getting my getting my point even if you show a normal piece of paper that has a dot in it or two dots in it and just flash it more like for one second, it is still going to impact their mind. Why? Because right brain works on speed, not on what all you show. See, stimulation, is, uh, you will say that then how is it that we are stimulating their brain? See, we are trying our best to show picture cards, we are trying to show them variety of transport, variety of vegetables, variety of fruits. But are are we limited to only 24 fruits or 24 vegetables? No, there are so many vegetables in the world. How many flashcards are you going to show them? So the idea is not how many. The idea is how you show. How excited your child is. How enthusiastic you are how enjoyment you guys are having between your flashcard session that is important so guys there is a lot of myth going on on groups of instagram groups of um, facebook and personally i spoke to a hegro um, teacher and he was kind enough to answer my question i asked him how many cards should i buy he said that even if you have two sets Yes, even if you have two sets of 20 cards, it's fine. Show five cards to your child. Play with those five cards. Show it at a speed of 10 seconds, 1 second or just 2 seconds. Uh, you just finish off that cards as, as fast as possible. And your child and you should enjoy. That is important. If you see that your child is... Or showing more in interest to the transport flashcards category and less interest for the vegetables then show him more of transport and when he likes transport you can keep on adding variety of transport flashcards it could be 100 it could be 200 it could be 300 it could be 400 but the job of increasing the photographic memory is achieved once you start showing a flashcard, even if it is one, even if it is two, even if it is three, even if it is four, even if even if it is five. So guys, don't rush behind buying those flashcards from every girl who is starting a group and starting a YouTube or starting a Instagram, even if it is me, okay? Because the thing is, that the world is huge you cannot print everything on flashcard the idea is to stimulate and you can do it even with few cards and glenn Dorman says that retire retire an old card that doesn't mean that never use it again or he has never mentioned that never buy or keep buying he's not like he's not said like that he has said that you introduce the topics to your child and then after some days again show it to him or if sometimes he's bored then don't show that set show a different one but people every person who reads that book has their own perceptions so they will keep on saying that you have to buy thousand flashcards you have to buy two thousand flashcards Sichida also says that you have to show 1000 or 2000 flashcards when when your child is already excited to see all see 10 flashcards and now he is ready to see more flashcards but when you guys have just started the journey of right brain instead of collecting the material focus on doing the flashcard activity rather than just running after after 
many flashbacks. <laughs>